And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Doug Maddox. A tune called the Trolley Song. Not something you would expect to hear on this instrument. I know I didn't. When I first started learning how to play this four-string jazz style of banjo, it was for fun. But somewhere in my third year of college, I had this epiphany. I said, I'm quitting college today, driving down to New Orleans, and becoming a professional banjo player. Here's a part of the story you won't know. See, Dueling Banjos wasn't really written for the movie Deliverance. It had actually been written some 20 years before the movie. It was a minor country hit in the early 50s, the original title, Feuding Banjos. And at that time, Nashville didn't team up a guitar player and a banjo player. They teamed up what you might expect. Dueling, feuding banjos, they teamed up two banjo players. Now, one of them was a four-string Dixieland banjo player. Now, that's the strumming kind. And they had him dueling with a five-string bluegrass banjo player. Now, what I'm going to try to do tonight, folks, is something you will never hear another banjo player ever do again in my particular price range. <laughs> Dueling banjos originally played on two banjos. I'm gonna play that original version from the 1950s tonight on this stage utilizing but one banjo. by Johann Sebastian Bach, called Yesu, Joy of Man's Desiring. Late 1800s, the banjo was so beloved in America that even classical banjo players became famous and through their concerts introduced this instrument to the world. turn of the 20th century, American popular music changed to a style called ragtime, which was absolutely perfect for the banjo, in much the same way that rock and roll is perfect for the guitar. Starting off with Scott Joplin's Entertainer. The banjo was at the peak of his popularity back in the roaring 20s. It was mandatory that banjo player be able to come out of the rhythm section sometime during the night, appear in front of the orchestra, and play some of the hot jazz tunes of the era. This is I'm Al Up, Bammy Bam. This smoother, more sophisticated style of jazz, well, it literally put the 1930s professional banjo player right in the line of fire because if they wanted to keep their orchestra jobs they were going to have to give up the raucous sound of the jazz banjo and they would have to take up this new more sophisticated instrument called the jazz guitar this is my interpretation of Malaganya